Well, the idea of a free trade deal isn't new. The European Union is another giant free trade zone. And 20 years ago, the North American Free Trade Agreement brought the US, Canada and Mexico together. But NAFTA remains divisive even now. Some US communities think it killed off their livelihoods. CCTV's Rosa Kazan has the story. A typical American summer picnic in Galesburg, Illinois. Hot dogs and smiles, it may look like a happy reunion, but people here are marking 11 years since Maytag shut down the refrigerator factory that was the city's largest employer for decades. You had, a, you had boxcars that came down here, there was a railroad track. This is all that's left now, rubble and weeds. The company moved most of work to Mexico. Nearly 2,000 people lost their jobs. It was devastating. Uh, it was, you know, it, it was sad. I mean, these people had worked here for a lot of the families uh, for years. Michael Patrick represented the union workers at the time of the shutdown. To many in Galesburg, he says, this is the face of NAFTA. It is almost impossible to imagine right now, but this was the final assembly. 800 people worked here in two shifts from 7 a.m. to midnight before the plant shut down. Many of those same workers are still struggling. Both Harlem and Amy Mitchell worked at Maytag. They've been bouncing from job to job ever since, with lower wages <laughs> and no health care or retirement benefits. It's been really hard, you know. I mean, that, that time I've had to work two jobs. You know, I've had to work at a factory and drive a semi on my days off, you know, to try to make ends meet, you know. It's just... It's been really like a roller coaster, you know. Once a thriving city of more than 40,000, Galesburg lost a quarter of its population. The median household income dropped almost 30 percent. A local appliance store owner says sales fell 20 percent when Maytag left. Those employees, uh, because they were concerned about their job, they're not going out thinking about buying refrigerators and washers and dryers and ranges any longer. They're thinking about their job. Lindstrom started selling mattresses to make up for the losses. But the drop in income was felt everywhere. Businesses closed. The city's shopping center is now a ghost town. I know when they started, they were producing 25 a day. John Askrey tried to turn his hobby of collecting antiques into a business after he lost his job at Maytag. It's harder to be because things don't bring, you know, the money they used to either. In town here, you, you notice the difference from Maytag being gone. You know, people don't have the income. The average salary at Maytag was $15 an hour, the kind of salary, says Dave Bavard, a former union leader, that could provide a comfortable lifestyle, even for those without a college degree. Galesburg had a middle-class community because of Maytag, long and short of it. They could shop, they could buy a home, their kids could go to good schools, they could go to send them off to four-year universities and get a degree. Some Maytag workers did find better jobs, for example, at the BNSF Railroad, which has prospered from increased trade with Canada and Mexico. Marsha Dean now runs her own hair salon. I love my job every day now, and I'm, I'm thankful that things worked out like they did. You know, at the time, I, I was scared, but um, it, in the long run, it's been a lot better. The U.S. lost nearly 6 million manufacturing jobs in the 2000s. The state of Illinois, 300,000 alone. Some attribute the changes to technology and domestic competition, not NAFTA. We had seen that longer trend that if you look at manufacturing employment as a share of total U.S. employment, it's a downward secular trend from the 1940s. Back in Galesburg, the last refrigerators that rolled off the Maytag assembly line now sit in a makeshift museum, signed by former employees, a reminder of a city still struggling. It's been tough, you know, but they, they, that old saying, the strong survive, you know, so you just got to keep moving on and smile. Say, you know, you feel blessed, too. Rosa Kazan, CCTV, Galesburg, Illinois.